one! I'm raring to go. Ready for this? Do you remember the day I made you my Chancellor, Mausinger? The other ministers, the ministers were, up in, were arms. up in arms, but they dare not say so to my face. But I trusted in you. I could see the resolve in your eyes, the determination. You yearned to bury the differences between our kinds, just as I did. I trust in you still. I know that you will continue what we have started, and that you will succeed. Oi! Huh? <laughs> Golly! Oh, come on! Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. Oi. Hmm. Oh, my. Greetings. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. King Mausinger, please, we have to stop this before it's too late. I see now why you overthrew me. So much has happened between our two kinds. 
But we can't let it go on. We have to bring the hatred between our peoples to an end. And what would you know of hatred, boy? Of the taste of shame? Of the humiliation of servitude? The line of the Tildrums ends here, today, at my hand. Oh, how long I have waited for this. <laughs> Ding Dong Dell will never be yours! Never! <laughs> Come, Tildrum! It is time ah! to meet your fate! Here goes! I can't do my Humiliated by two generations of the same accursed line. Damn you, Tildrum, and all of your kind. We don't have to do this, Mausinger. I didn't come here to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Come, Your Majesty. You cannot simply bow to defeat. If you do not destroy these worms, our people will never be safe. They will never be free. Free? Yes. We must be free! But not like this. Don't listen to him. Every last Grimalkin must die! Come, Oakenheart! Come to me! <laughs> I had thought this tedium would never end. At last it is done, Master. For me. I hope you can forgive me, Your Majesty. Even I must confess to feeling some small pang of guilt at having encouraged you to slay your dearest friend and patron. But you should not have so readily taken my word over King Leonard's. Those who claim that blood runs thicker than water grossly overstate the case, my beloved fellow mouse. No! In truth, your precious king was too nauseatingly good-natured to betray you. 
to contemplate anything so base as manipulating you into keeping our kind in check. And more fool him, as you are so very easy to manipulate. Vermeen. How could you? <laughs> How could I betray my master? How could you be so foolish as to ask such a question? And now, Lord Dolorum, I have fulfilled my part of the bargain. And my price was the kingdom, if you recall. I hereby claim it. Yes, of course. You must be rewarded for your faithful service. Dalaran, what have you done to him? I have repaid the debt of a traitor, and not a moment too soon. This accursed kingdom, not only was its ruler too pure-hearted to succumb to my corruption, even his closest aid proved immune to my advances. In the end, I was forced to settle for this contemptible worm. I have wasted so much precious time. But at last, my plan is complete. What a pity you will not be present to witness its glorious fruition! Oakenheart, has it really come to this? Wait, you needn't do this alone. We'll fight him together.
No! It says... <gasps> he believed in me. And I... <sighs> what have I done? Bows and good. My dearest friend. Give you. Our two kinds have borne each other ill will since time immemorial. The rift between us could not be healed so easily. It was a distance that could only ever be closed one step at a time. But close it shall. One day we will stand together, hand in hand at last. All thoughts of oppression consigned to history. And you, Mersinger, you will bring this about. But, Your Majesty, why would you... Well, why would you trust in one who had failed you so utterly? And whose hand you... <laughs> I always trusted you, old friend. And I always will. You see far, further than I ever could. You are a maker of plans, a doer of deeds, a true ruler. Yet there remains in you a lingering shadow of doubt. Doubt in others, born of doubt in yourself. A king must learn to trust his own judgment. A king? You mean that... You still think me worthy? Who better to rule over the realm I love than one who loves it just as fiercely? If it please you. Your Majesty. It does. And now, I must be on my way. When next we meet, I would have you tell me the tale of a kingdom made great by its wise and benevolent ruler. Yes, your majesty. Farewell, Mousinger. I leave Ding Dong Dell in your hands. Do not fail me. Become a true king. Watch over the land we both love so well. I will not fail you, old friend. King Mausinger, I humbly propose that a pact be made between our realms. Will you sign the Declaration of Interdependence? It is what your father would have wanted, for our two kingdoms to stand as one. And so it shall be. Thank you, Your Majesty. Let us work together to make a better, more peaceful world.
You have come far, son of Leonard. I will gladly stand beside you, and I will make Ding Dong Dell a kingdom where all races can stand beside one another. The enmity of generations will divide us no longer. I salute you, Evan, Lord of Evermore. Thank you. Let our nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand, stand as one, one single land. land. Sure enough, Ding Dong Dell began to change from that day forth. No longer did Cat Kind cower beneath the ground in fear of tyranny. Instead, the Grimalkin stepped out into the sun and saw their brother mice as if for the first time. And the hatred that had divided them for so long melted away like so much snow. Well, perhaps not entirely, but these things take time. The declaration's finished, Evan. You did it. And we made peace with Mausinger too, which is something. But his king's bond was stolen, and Dolorin really does mean to resurrect the Horned One. So what if he does? He'll be ready to face him. He'll overcome this trial, just like all the others. After all, if you can as good as unite the whole world, you can do anything. You're right. But it's not over yet, and this last part isn't going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs>